So you are a developer and you want to start with Docker, then this video is made for you. So by the end of the video, what you are going to learn from this video is that you'll get to know that what Docker is, then what's the difference between a Docker and a virtual machine, and then why do you want to use Docker, and then later in the video, we'll be making our very first Docker application. So now let's look at the very first question that what exactly is Docker? Basically Docker allows us to create independent environments which are called containers to run your applications. And these containers can be run on any machine, whether it's a Windows machine or a Linux machine or a Mac OS machine. We do not have any dependency or compilation problems when running these containers because each of the container is built from the same image file on any of the host systems. So simply we just have to launch the container and, the appli and our application will start immediately. Now you might be wondering that what this container thing is. So basically from Docker website itself, it says that a Docker container image is a very lightweight standalone and executable package of software that will include everything needed to run your application. For example, if you want to run a Node.js application, you would be needing a certain version of Node.js which you will define in your Docker image file. And then if you need any dependencies, you'll define those dependencies in the Docker file itself. And then you'll create that image from the Docker file. And then you are going to run that Docker file. And then your Node.js application will start immediately. And when you are going to create your image, which we'll be doing in later in the video, you'll get to know that how these images work and how do you create those images. And then how do you make a container run from that image? So basically we have our system and then we have installed Docker. And this blue veil is Docker. And then all the containers up there, these are all individual environments which are created for those specific packages you have just created. Like for example here, I have a MongoDB container which runs in its own environment. And then we have a Node.js application which runs in its own environment. Then we have a Redis image and then we have an Nginx image. And now what's the benefit of using Docker? You can have independent containers for two Node.js application. Like one Node.js application might use a certain version of Node.js and the other application can use a different version of Node.js. So there is no conflict between both the containers because their environments are separate and they do not interfere with each other. This is one of the most asked questions about Docker. That is Docker a virtual machine? In simple words, the answer is simply no, though it looks like a virtual machine. But a virtual machine includes a full copy of an OS. But rather Docker will only share the resources of the host machine to run its environments. That is, it's a very lightweight image as compared to a virtual machine. And therefore containers will take very less space compared to a virtual machine. And therefore Docker is very fast and can start and stop an application within a matter of seconds. Now this is an image taken from the Docker website itself where it shows you the difference between Docker and virtual machine. On the right side we have the virtual machines and on the left side we have Docker containers that are called app A, app B, app C and so on. Now if we want to run multiple virtual machines we need to have a certain kind of software called hypervisor which will make you run multiple virtual machines on a single system. As compared to a docker machine we have a host operating system and this operating system can be any operating system as I have told you before. And then we install docker on top of that operating system. And then docker will manage each of the containers which you want to initialize or you want to run. Whereas in the case of virtual machine, each of the virtual machine will have its own operating system as you can see in, in the image that app A, app B and app C, they are all having their own operating system. Whereas if we look at the Docker thing, there is only a single operating system. So right away we can see that there will be less load on our infrastructure as compared to using virtual machines instead of Docker. Till now you already know that why Docker is so powerful. Firstly, it is very fast compared to a virtual machine. Secondly, it is multi-platform. It can be launched on any system with any operating system. Thirdly, there is no difficulty in setting up your environment. Like for example, if you are running two Python applications, one is using Python 2 and another is using Python 3, then these both can work independently of each other because they are running in separate containers. And we can delete one container without impacting other containers. And it is way easier to deploy a project on your server as compared to the traditional way of deploying your projects. So here comes the best part of the video that we are going to make an application. It will be a very small application in Node.js which will display a sum of two numbers and it will be launched through a docker file and it is not at all complicated and moreover you don't even know, need to install Node.js on your machine because it's a responsibility of the docker file to install that dependency on your container. So now firstly we need to install docker in our machine. 
so installing docker is very easy you can go to the respective links to find the installation for the respective machines if you are on mac or you can follow this link if you are on windows you can follow this link or if you are on linux you can use these commands to install it on your machine so i am not going through the installation of docker rather we will be installing our application through docker so now let's jump into the terminal window and let's see how it is done here i have opened terminal on my mac if you are on windows you can use command prompt or powershell so first things first let's check the docker version docker dash v which gives us the docker version of 18.09 if you want you can see the help commands by using this command docker dash dash help which will show you all the commands that you can use with docker let me clear out the screen so when you learn a new programming language or something new you would want to run hello world so we can run hello world like this docker run hello world and it will say that it is unable to find the image locally so it will pull up the image from the docker hub and if you see this message that hello from docker it will tell you that your installation appears to be working correctly so let's clear it out and here let me go to the desktop by seeding into the desktop folder and then i'll make a new directory called youtube tutorial for docker pretty long name let me see it into this folder and here i'll create two files firstly i'll create the app.js file and secondly i'll create docker file and you know that there is no extension to this docker file and now i'll open my text editor i'm using vs code you can use any text editor you like So here we have an empty docker file and, and an empty app.js file. So now firstly in the app.js file what I like to do I like to console log something. So console.log hello and we'll verify that this is working correctly. So in my terminal I'll write node app.js and we see that we are getting hello. So because node is already installed on my system but it is not necessary for you to install node.js locally on your system. So let's change this file by writing hello from node i am running from inside docker container. And now i'll make a const x equal to 2 and const y equal to 5 because the whole purpose of this file is to get the sum of two numbers and let sum is equal to x plus y and now i'll console log this sum console.log i'll use backticks the sum of dollar x plus dollar y is equal to sum so that's all for the program in app.js let me save this and now let's go to the docker file now to start a docker file the docker file is always started by importing the base image so here we use the keyword from and the base image and you might be wondering that where you can get these base images so you can go to docker hub for your base images so let me open this docker hub thing here and here we can find our base images and if you want to search for node let me type in node here and here it will tell me that there is the, this node image and this is the official image so i'll be using this node image since i have to provide the base image so what i'll do i'll write here node and colon latest because we want the latest version of the node image now to launch the node.js code that we have just written that that is inside the app.js file firstly we need to import it into our image so to import it into our image we use the copy keyword copy and what we want to copy we want to copy app.js and we want to copy it to the root folder of our node image and for that we'll provide forward slash like this now we are going to define the command to launch when we are going to run the image. We would use the command keyword to do that, so cmd. In the brackets, we will provide in the executable that is node comma app.js. So this would, uh, this would execute something like this. 
node app dot js like this let me save this docker file so now this is the bare bones of a docker file which would be required to run your node.js application in your container so firstly let me build this image so now let's go to our terminal and inside here if we ls we have our two files that is docker file at the app.js file now to build the image from this docker file what we need to do we need to write docker build minus t and here we need to provide in the name of our image so let me say node docker and then we provide in the path of the docker file since it is in the current folder so we provide in the dot and now if we press enter it will say that uh, sending build to docker daemon for you it might take some time because it will need to download the node image from the docker hub but since i've already got my node image so it is faster on my pc it might take some time on your pc so now it says that this uh, this image has been built that is the node docker image has been built and it has been tagged as node docker latest so now to run this image what we need to do we simply need to use docker run and the image name which we have just provided so the image name was node docker and if we run it we'll see i'm getting this thing that hello from node i'm running from inside docker container and the sum of 2 plus 4 is equal to 6 which we have defined in the app.js file now let me change something here so now if we write console.log let me increase the font size so it's visible to you so console.log this is the end of app.js file and let me save it here and what do you think if i'll run docker node docker run node docker will the changes be applied so let's see the changes are not applied so now to make the changes appear inside the container again what you need to do you need to build the image again so for that i am going to build the image again by using the same arguments so let me press enter and now if i run docker run node docker we'll see that the changes have been applied to the container also because we are seeing this line that is this is the end of the app.js file so guys this is all about this video it's a very basic introduction about docker and docker images and docker container in the upcoming videos i'll be doing something more complicated than this thing and we'll be doing a node.js express application and we'll be starting it through a docker file and it will be running inside our container and if you have liked the video do hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel till now do subscribe to my channel and if you want you can support me on patreon.com i'll provide the link in the description below so thank you bye bye tata take care and have a good day